come from? Where are we now? Where are we going? These questions were beautifully explored in this fascinating painting by Paul Gauguin over a hundred years ago. I'm asking these questions just as he did, and so have many others. As a teacher, my loyalty is not to the world as it is. It's from the world as it must be. I take it seriously that my duty is to wrestle with such questions. We stand on the brink of two different worlds. One holds the seeming comforts of the past, where we rely on the comforts that ignoring change brings, but we have disruptive change. This is the world where we seek stability and predictability. But we now live in a VUCA world and will be for the foreseeable future. Originally coined by the US military, VUCA describes a world that, a world that is increasingly volatile, uncertain, complex, and ambiguous. So what does our VUCA world look like? It's a world filled with uncertain economic situations. It's filled with challenges caused by natural systems collapsing. And it's a world also filled with escalating human conflicts. Do you feel prepared for it? We're surrounded by change from all sides. Overwhelming change, I feel. So how do you prepare for such a volatile, uncertain, complex, and ambiguous world? How do we do that? I struggle with that daily as an educator. I fear that our education systems are really great at preparing human resources for the world as it is, and not really that great, at least intentionally, of preparing resourceful humans. Resourceful humans are the only humans who have a chance of thriving in a VUCA world. Resourceful humans adapt to change. Human resources struggle with change. To give you an amusing visual from pop culture, I want you to imagine this character from this movie, Office Space. I want you to imagine Milton Wadhams from the movie, Office Space. Some of you chuckle. Milton was a quintessential human resource, always being told what to do and where to do it, and he finally lost it. And then on the other end of the spectrum, I want you to imagine MacGyver, a man who never met a challenge that he couldn't solve. And that would be a quintessential resourceful human, just from pop culture. Those of us who seek stability and predictability in our existing educational institutions as the, and see that as the only source of valid learning, define... By doing so, we define the purpose of our education systems, K-12 and beyond. We know how to make doctors, accountants, plumbers, philosophers with these systems. However, this worldview of education does not enable us to deal well with the VUCA world. We have haphazard educational systems with a confused sense of purpose. A long time ago, a group of blind monks were asked to describe an elephant. One grabbed the tail of the elephant and thought that the elephant was a rope. Yet another touched the side of the elephant and thought that the elephant was a wall. And yet another touched the, grabbed the feet of the elephant and thought that they resembled a tree trunk. None of them were wrong, but none of them were right either. They didn't see the whole elephant, or for that matter, the herd of elephants in the field either. By relying on existing educational institutions, whose institutional purpose is unclear, as our main source of learning, we are unknowingly creating more and more human resources. Let's get clear about the purpose of our education systems. Let's create learning that helps us empower humans who can deal with the VUCA world. Let's empower resourceful humans. Our civilizations will then be able to adapt to whatever kind of world we find ourselves in. Currently, the purpose of our education systems boils down to a preparation for a job title. Advocates of the liberal arts will stress the importance of critical thinking. Labor market economists will stress the importance of science, technology, engineering, or math, or STEM. Yet others will stress creativity. None of them are wrong. But we need to acknowledge that it's time we bring the whole elephant as well as the entire herd and the terrain that it stands on into our sights. We need all of these facets of learning to combine so that we may see the whole elephant along with the VUCA world it exists in. We do this by realizing and embracing learning as a means of creating resourceful humans. 
Resourceful humans are able to learn, unlearn, and relearn at a rapid and thoughtful place, pace. They have a deep understanding of humanity's heritage. They're just at ease reciting Rumi, Du Fu, or Shakespeare as they are programming a computer or tinkering with an engine. Resourceful humans have at their core the ability to adapt, process complexity, and demonstrate through their lives and actions the very best of what we have learned through thousands of years of mistakes, triumphs, and discoveries. They are able to take on a rapidly changing world with the heart of explorers, displaying sound judgment and humility inf informed by the insignificance of the human story in the face of geologic time. They have embedded within themselves an accurate ethical compass that steers them unerringly towards embracing their fellow men as stewards of this beautiful planet. They're willing and able to take on the task of serving humanity and living beyond their own personal enrichment. All this may seem unrealistic in the stormy waters of a VUCA world, but much like these fishermen in this beautiful painting by Armand Lewis from Nova Scotia, we will be able to steer through the choppy waters and the shoals ahead if we hold as our light that the purpose of our learning systems is to create resourceful humans, we can, and we can navigate towards them. It is indeed possible for all of us to become more resourceful and to help the next generation become more resourceful. But to do so, we have to acknowledge three things. Learning does not just happen in school. Two, we have schools as they are, are not enough. A redefinition of their central purpose is necessary to that of empowering resourceful humans. And three, we need tools to integrate learning essential to the development of a resourceful human. There are many people who are working on these tools, including Leadership Calgary and the Human Venture Institute. And I suggest one of these tools is a learning map that systemically empowers us to see the whole terrain, elephants and all. It would be wonderful if such a map, once completed, is, the, is available to the parents of every child at the moment of birth. It would also be profoundly helpful if we continually updated this learning map and made it free and accessible to every man, woman, and child on this planet. Filled with the very best of what we know about the empowerment of resourceful humans. I'm working on such a map and have made an early draft available for free at resourcefulhuman.org. I do need your help though, to help me identify and to help us identify all the facets that make someone a resourceful human. One can imagine one day where you can actually click on the Courage tab and get links and resources to help develop courage in someone to speak truth to power, which is an essential ingredient for a resourceful human. One can imagine a link of resources and a link of networks divided by age, perhaps, where one can develop courage through skateboarding, physical courage at least, and then moral courage in another way. And all these facets would be mapped out for people through this website, and it would be accessible for everyone. But it is a crowdsourcing effort, and I do need your help to make it thorough and deep enough and validate it. But it's time we did this. By systemically mapping out our unique context for available learning, we will see learning as an ecosystem with various co-dependent elements. We will have a clear sense of our blind spots, as well as the known unknowns, which accurately describe navigating a VUCA world. You may remember known unknowns from all the fun that people made of Donald Rumsfeld from a few years ago. However, recognizing the limits of our certain and of our knowledge and our certainty is an approach that will at least give us a fighting chance of figuring out the even more problematic unknown unknowns that can often plague a VUCA world. These are the systemic problems of tomorrow that we haven't even recognized as problems, but which will require all of our civilization's intellect and energy to resolve. Schools and formal educational institutions still occupy an important part of this map. This picture, really, of an ecosystem of learning, 
However, learning as an ecosystem suggests that there are equally magnificent lessons to be learned outside of school, in, from daily life and other informal opportunities, as long as we're systemic and holistic in our approach. By being thorough and creating a quality picture of the sort of learning path through which each person navigates, we have the ability to escape the constraints of only recognizing learning as occurring in our present institutions or getting trapped into thinking that learning only happens if it looks a certain way. If we do this properly, we will be truly able to integrate all the various elements of learning and deepen the quality of each learning experience. This effort, though, can't be dependent on someone else, nor can it be dependent on us waiting to reform existing educational institutions. Me and you can get involved right now. Whether we are parents, CEOs, caring citizens, plumbers, or accountants, by doing these three things. One, we have to help our existing learning institutions redefine their purpose. Two, we have to thoroughly map all our communities for all the promising learning opportunities that they, that they hold. Investigate them for quality and figure out a way to make them freely accessible to everyone. And three, we have to help in creating a robust map that can help empower resourceful humans here and everywhere. By doing these things, we can create a world with less human resources and more resourceful humans. There are no shortages of challenges ahead, and we need more of those kinds of people. <laughs>